Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you my Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. There goes my friend just saying hi to you all, but we're going to be mainly focusing on this Blackbird. So as happy as I am, this Blackbird is strictly from pictures. I looked at many pictures and tried to recreate the shape of it extremely well and um, I succeeded well and so let's go ahead and show you how this flies before I'm gonna show you other things so right here I'm just staying still right now and I'm gonna turn on the engines and there there it goes right away really fast see off the map already there it's off the map and as you can see right here my engines are on full right now. It's about 500 speed without the boosters. Yes, there are boosters on this Blackbird. So as this is flying right here, it is flying at some incredible speeds. 500 right now, which seems good. But the boosters, I can always just hold down W and see the, they're like, pay close attention to the middle of the body of the jet there are blue things going over it which means these are many super rocket engines making it much faster so right here it's about 500 speed I'm getting the boost and now it's like 650 it's really fast now and I'm gonna zoom by this to show you there it's really fast just how far and fast it's going this can cover ground easily and um, the way I made it is specially aerodynamic to cut through the wind. Anyways, I'm going back here and I'm gonna land. Now, this Blackbird jet does not use magnet propulsion, so um, I need a parachute to go here. See, I'm falling down and I toggle the parachute. The parachute slows it down and there. It needs to be executed quickly the blackboard goes down I toggle the parachute it opens up and slows down the jet so there so that's the flying showcase right now what's really interesting about this jet is that I tried to make it with like many configurations of the half block down category. So you go to half blocks and right here some really helpful ones is half block down. These are like wedges but even steeper. It's like half wedge down is, you see here, see this half wedge down right here? one by two it's as steep as a regular wedge one by four I can go ahead and there you see it's the same line right there and it only covers up two blocks while the other one wedge one by four covers up four blocks so it's a nice like compact wedge that's also quite steep so if this I can make more precise movements I added some triangle wedges and stuff on the back to create that and I'm going to go ahead and bring up some pictures and show you show you um the this blackbird model compared to the jet itself so I'm going to bring up a picture of the front right now as you can see there's a picture of the front and kind of like and as you can kind of show in the picture, it's not as accurately showed, but um, it's kind of like these panels and then they go go up to the front. Right here, there's this line and it goes up to there. And then as you can see, there are the black engines in the back over there, their wings, the two rudders, and just like the shaping of the front, I tried to get that down. 
can go ahead and show a picture of the side right here and as you can see there's the fuselage the glass right here it goes light right here and then of course there is I can go ahead and color this in a color that might show much better than black there there right here that I'm coloring right now is the engine there's another engine over here of course but as you can see the engine it's big it has something in the back for the boosters and then of course we also have the rudders going up as we see in the picture which I can go ahead and color in blue there as you can see right here in blue there's also another one but right here in blue you can see how there's the rudder and of course in black which is clearly shown you see the wing configuration and what might be really accurate is how on the top of the blackbird I'm trying to get it in a way that it shows both picture right here like you can show two of them kinda like that and as you can see right here I'm gonna switch the camera angle apparently because the pictures since the blackbird is a long jet they don't appear that way but as you can see right here in this blackbird image we have the front fuselage right here and then there's the tail going in and then we have the wings and then it's kind of weird to me because shouldn't the wings be like this no apparently they go right here then there's the engine flat and then they come right here and then it's like a round wedge it's gonna show clearer because I'm gonna highlight this but as you can see um uh, let's do red as you can see yeah I'm a terrible colorer but there and I can get the rest of the jet to be in gray right here great so as you can see the color in red shows the outline of the wings and as you can see it comes right here to the this engine quite big engines to huge engines right here and then it comes right here and then it kind of goes round to here if you know what I mean so anyways I can go ahead and color this whole thing back gray can save to the blackbird right here and now I can tell you my building process the building process um, had me look at many images of the blackbird to kind of you know show it so I can try and make the shape as best as possible so I started off with like a wedge right here uh, since it's an interesting shape for a blackbird it kind of went like this and then you know kind of for an airplane and so and then with the front the front was extremely complex because it was like going up like this and going to the side at the same time and triangle wedges just did not work for me out there like triangle wedges are good and all but they just won't work they don't have like that good shape so anyways we go to the front we see we have this and it's measured in half blocks like um you see normally when you build something it's like in blocks right here like you have like a grid an invisible grid that's all with one block the way I did the wedges right here where I split the grid in half basically so I had the wedge that was like um, one fourth of a block and then I had one block and then one block and one fourth and then two blocks 
and then well three blocks right now because I it kind of goes like this but you kind of see what I mean where it wasn't just one block two blocks three blocks with the wedges no I did it half a block or one fourth of a block then a whole block then a block and one fourth then two blocks and three blocks so it was kind of interesting the front I made but I feel like it was good there and then as you can see right here I'm using half wedge right here so we go and get half wedge and then after that we go to half blocks and we get half block down one by two as you can see right here it's kind of like it's a small difference but it's kind of like it's a line it's steep it's going up and then it goes even more up just a little bit slightly but that's kind of how I wanted to recreate the shape of the blackbird as you know the sides of it would kind of go up to the middle from the first picture I showed you of the front so anyways that was my building process I just kept doing that same thing all the way till here when I used triangle wedges right here as you can see there are triangle wedges and then triangle wedge block here that would make a nice smooth innerward angle right here it goes inside but it also goes like this so it's kind of like two dimensions of sloping I think it's like it goes down right here from the top but it also goes down from the side right here and so that created a nice end tail I made the wings the engine right here kind of added that little detail of that um, no. That's bad. Coloring always helps you see things better. That wedge one right here, that's because the rudder was designed specially, because, like, there was this little part and it goes up and stuff. That's what I did. I made sure I included that itty bitty detail. And, of course, at the end of the tail, you see we have this parachute, which is um the longest length and the biggest size and of course to release by p because p parachute you know parachute starts with a p anyways so how do how do these wings connect well they connect by like half blocks here as you can see it's kind of a little crowded in the interior but see i'm going to color this for you to help and then let's do gray those are two bright colors so as you can see with my selector right here the yellow ones are the half blocks the gray ones are the wings and we keep going as you know there are more gray ones but still here are the yellow ones the, those are half blocks and they connect onto the main body and then what's interesting is that the half blocks this could be quite helpful for if you're making some kind of planes or stuff but if we put some half blocks here right here and then we colored them yellow because that was the configuration we had last time and then we go ahead to wings wing panels wing panel 1 by 4 and we place that there it's kind of like a flat surface it's just wow this is really hard maybe I need to go into a first person mode to see this I can go from the other side and then just like show you Ooh, or I could do something else we have a camera here let's put it to good use we get the camera right here and then we fix it select a block config we do it like this there so now we're looking then I can go right here and then uh, I press C I think yeah there so that's the camera going and as you can see kind of so I updated the camera a little bit right here and now as you can see there's this white line it's going down wow this is a really nice 
close-up image from the camera. Cameras are really useful when you need to make spy drones and stuff like that. So if we go here and line, and then it goes down just by a little bit in really light yellow. Then we go down right here, and then it goes like it's just a little bit, but it, the wing panel is still connected to the half block with that little sliver. So with that, it mainly looks very much like flat. It's just a little bit different that you can barely see from it. So that's quite useful if you have like something with like an airplane or so. You can use half blocks to connect it or half blocks on top to be used as replacements for the wings and it will look all flat. So anyways, that will be all for today, my Blackbird Showcase.